Top 10 Global Health Threats Which Should Be Taken Into Consideration In today's connected world, people from every corner on Earth are dealing with a wide range of health threats. It is not only the outbreaks of vaccine-preventable diseases like measles and diphtheria, increasing numbers of drug-resistant pathogens, higher rates of obesity and sedentary lifestyle that put our health at risk, but impacts of environmental pollution, climate change and various humanitarian crises are also included in this list. This video presents Top 10 Global Health Threats Which Should Be Taken Into Consideration 1. Air pollution and climate change. Given the fact that 9 out of 10 people inhale polluted air every day, in 2019, WHO names air pollution the greatest environmental risk to health. With the air being more and more poisoned by emissions from vehicles, factories, fuels from households and so on, there is a high chance that these minuscule contaminants penetrate into respiratory and circulatory systems, which can lead to the damage of lungs, heart and brain, killing 7 million people prematurely every year from diseases such as cancer, stroke, heart and lung disease. Around 90% of these deaths are in low- and middle-income countries, with high volumes of emissions from industry, transport and agriculture, as well as dirty cookstoves and fuels in homes. The major cause of air pollution also contributes heavily to climate change, which exerts multiple impacts on people's health. Climate change is estimated to add 250,000 deaths from malnutrition, malaria, diarrhea and heat stress per year from 2030 to 2050. 2. Non-communicable diseases NCD. A non-communicable disease, also known as a chronic disease, is a non-infectious health condition which lasts for a long period of time. Non-communicable diseases, including diabetes, cancer and heart disease, account for more than 70% of all worldwide deaths, equivalent to 41 million people, in which about 36.6% die prematurely, with the age from 30 to 69. Over 85% of these premature deaths come from countries with low and middle income. The rise of these diseases has been driven by five major risk factors. Tobacco use, physical inactivity, the harmful use of alcohol, unhealthy diets and air pollution. These risk factors also exacerbate mental health issues that may originate from an early age. Half of all mental illness begins by the age of 14, but most cases go undetected and untreated. Suicide is the third leading cause of death among 15 to 19 year olds. 3. Global Influenza Pandemic. We all know that the world will certainly face another influenza pandemic, the only thing that is uncertain until now is when it will hit and how severe it will be. Global preventions only serve as the weakest link in any country's health emergency preparedness and response system. Regardless of its severity, influenza pandemics can exert serious effects on a large proportion of the population, which puts significant strains on health and other essential services, and may result in significant economic losses. 4. Fragile and vulnerable environments. It is estimated that nearly one quarter of global population or approximately 1.6 billion people have limited access to basic care due to a wide range of enduring disasters, including drought, famine, conflict, and population displacement, and weak health services in the places they are living. Many regions around the world have to deal with fragile settings where half of the key targets in the sustainable development goals, including on child and maternal health, remains unmet. 5. Antimicrobial Resistance AMR. Some of the greatest achievements in modern medicine are the development of antibiotics, antivirals and antimalarials. Unfortunately, we have to find alterations before these bacteria go out of control. Recently, many dangerous bacteria, parasites, viruses and fungi somehow have evolved to have antimicrobial resistance, the ability to help them resist medicines, weakening our ability to treat infections such as pneumonia, tuberculosis, gonorrhea, and salmonellosis. The inability to prevent infections could seriously compromise surgery and procedures such as chemotherapy. Drug resistance is considered to be a natural occurrence caused by mutations in the gene of bacteria. However, excessive use of antimicrobials in people and animals can accelerate the emergence and spread of antimicrobial-resistant bacteria. 6. Ebola and other life-threatening diseases. In 2018, two separate Ebola outbreaks attacked the Democratic Republic of the Congo and then spread to cities with over 1 million people. 
One of the affected provinces is also in an active conflict zone, which drastically worsens the spread of this disease. WHO's RMD blueprint establishes a watchlist for priority research and development, which contain diseases and pathogens that have high chances of causing a public health emergency, but lacking effective treatments and vaccines. These include Ebola, Zika, Nipah, MERS-CoV and SARS and Disease X, which represents the need to prepare for an unknown pathogen that could cause a serious epidemic. 7. Lack of primary health care. Primary health care is expected to provide people with comprehensive, affordable and community-based care in their lifetime. Primary health care can meet the majority of a person's health needs of the course of their life. Health systems with strong primary health care are needed to achieve universal health coverage. Unfortunately, not many countries provide adequate primary health care facilities as expected. This may result from a lack of resources in low- and middle-income countries, but possibly also a focus in the past few decades on single-disease programs. 8. Vaccine hesitancy. Vaccination is known as one of the most cost-effective ways to prevent diseases, with 2 to 3 million deaths prevented a year, and there will be a further 1.5 million prevented if global coverage of vaccinations is improved. Vaccine hesitancy is described by WHO as a delay in acceptance or refusal of vaccines, despite the availability of vaccination services. It can reserve our progress made in addressing vaccine-preventable diseases. According to a vaccines advisory group to WHO, key reasons why people choose not to vaccinate are identified as complacency, inconvenience in accessing vaccines, and lack of confidence in the effectiveness of vaccines to treat diseases. 9. Dengue. Dengue, a dangerous mosquito-borne disease, has been a growing threat for decades. With flu-like symptoms, this disease can become life-threatening, and it is reported that about one out of five people with severe dengue will die. Bangladesh and India reported a high number of cases in the rainy seasons. In 2018, Bangladesh got the highest number of deaths in almost two decades. Dengue is spreading to countries that had never seen it before, such as Nepal, as mosquito season is lengthening due to climate change. Dengue is putting approximately two-fifths of the world population at risk, and there are around 390 million infections a year. 10. Human Immunodeficiency Virus, HIV. Although enormous progress against HIV have been made in terms of getting people tested, providing antiretrovirals and access to preventive measures, this deadly disease still causes nearly a million deaths every year. Since the beginning of the epidemic, over 70 million people worldwide have been infected with HIV, and half have died. Today, around 37 million worldwide are living with HIV. Sex workers, people in prison, men who have sex with men or transgender, are those who are at high risk of HIV infection. Young girls and women in sub-Saharan Africa are another group who are vulnerable to HIV. Which threat is most dangerous to you? Let us know in the comments section. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and share this with your loved ones.